Hello guys, just talking to you again about encouragement here. It's a beautiful autumn morning, absolutely fantastic. And again, we're talking about victory. You know, what does it take to get victory? You know, the Apostle Paul again said in 1 Corinthians 15, uh, 57, God always gives him the victory. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14, he said, God always causes him to triumph, praise God. You know, Paul said, I've run my race, I've finished my course. He didn't say I just began my course or I finished part of it. You know, he experienced victory in every area of his life. Through the trials, through the difficulties, God gave him victory. And how do you do that in your life today? How do we do that, you know, in the call of God on our lives, in the dreams and visions God has given us? You know, in relationships, praise God, in marriage and, and family and, you know, raising kids and, you know, all the challenges of life, uh, God gives us ways to have victory every single time, praise God. And Paul was a person who pressed through. We have to be that uh, people who press through as well, praise God. You know, and really, I see it in two ways. You know, sometimes a problem needs a bigger hammer. You know, somebody said the answer to every problem is a bigger hammer. Well, that's not always true, you know, but sometimes it is. When we were taking out the church kitchen there recently, I tell you, it was just a bigger hammer issue, praise God. So, uh, yeah, we ripped up the kitchen, Shane and I, and uh, yeah, it took a lot of muscle ripping things out, tearing things apart, you know, and God says he's given us authority over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means harm us in Luke uh, chapter 10 uh, verse 19 there and you know sometimes yeah it's just a bigger hammer you just got to pray and take authority and believe God other times it's wisdom it's not a bigger hammer you know if somebody said the answer uh, to the problems with my BMW motorcycle was a bigger hammer I'd say hold on a minute <laughs> I think maybe some wisdoms needed you know and uh, there are issues in life where it's not a bigger hammer it's wisdom and Proverbs chapter 24 uh, verse 1 through 3 there says, By wisdom a house is built, by understanding it is established, and by knowledge the chambers thereof are filled with every kind of precious and pleasant thing. You know, and James chapter 1 says, If you lack wisdom, if we lack wisdom, let that person ask of God who gives to all liberally. And he doesn't withhold. And it says, let him ask in faith, meaning God wants you to approach his throne. Ask him for wisdom in the situation to overcome, to get through, to get over, get around. And uh, God will grant it. God will give you that wisdom. And we've seen just some amazing things occur in our lives. You know, just by waiting on God, taking time you know, to get wisdom, sometimes it requires time. You know, you have to wait on God at times, maybe even fast and pray, but God gives wisdom to overcome. Praise the Lord. And I just want to assure you uh, today that God will give you wisdom and victory, you know, in all the areas of life. Praise God. I, I remember just, you know, when we were looking to purchase the church building, we didn't have the money or the funds or, or the finances, but God gave wisdom and God gave the ability and God opened doors and God created opportunity, you know, and he'll do things like that in your life, no matter what the situation is. Praise God, you can rely upon him and trust in him and be assured that he is with you in every challenge of life. Praise God, be blessed today, be encouraged and wait on God for his wisdom. God bless you.